We're here for you, fifth grade. We're so proud of you. So thank you to our friends and our families and our teachers and staff members that have been here. I'd like to introduce Mr. Brett Bellamy from Hopewell Church. Thank you for coming today. We want to welcome you to fifth grade graduation and to Hopewell Baptist Church. El señor Bellamy le quiere dar la bienvenida a nuestra a la iglesia de Hopewell. Él trabaja aquí como un uh, asodate para ayudar a la familia, a la comunidad. Just wanted to let you know that the restrooms are on both sides out these doors. So if you need those that are available to you. Si se encuentra que necesita los servicios, por favor, sepan que la salida al lado de la izquierda y derecha ahí están para ustedes. And we also just want to extend a welcome to you from Hopewell Baptist Church. If you don't have a home church, we would love to have you here on Sundays and Wednesdays. Le gustaría extender una invitación si ustedes están buscando una iglesia en su comunidad. Hopewell aquí está para ustedes con el señor Bellamy y también con el pastor de la iglesia. Bienvenidos. And as a graduate of Myers Elementary School, I'm happy to have you here and uh, just enjoy your time celebrating these fifth graders. El señor Bellamy, que es formo alumno de Myers, le encanta estar aquí con nuestra comunidad, con nuestra escuela, como los dragones que son, y de que um, le extiende el bienvenido para estar aquí. Gracias a todos. So as you know, my name is Marla Lear, and I'm the principal of Myers Elementary. Como saben, es la directora Marla Lear de la escuela Myers. Yo soy su director, señor Carter. <laughs> and this is our sister principal, Mr. Carter. And today we just wanted to take a few minutes to be able to address our fifth grade students. We have a special message for you because we care about you and we wish you the very best. Tenemos un mensaje especial para los alumnos del quinto grado. Les queremos mucho y esperamos lo mejor para ustedes. So, boys and girls, our job here is done. We have taught you all that we know for the time that we have and the days that we have taught you. For the most part, you have learned our lessons well. Before we let you go today, I hope you allow me this moment, just the last opportunity to give you some good advice that you take with you to middle school. Nuestro trabajo aquí está hecho. Han aprendido muchas lecciones. Sin embargo, antes de dejarlos ir, espero que me permitan esta última oportunidad de darles algunos consejos para que los lleven a la escuela intermedia. Work hard. Things do not always come easy. And sometimes they just shouldn't. What is worth learning is worth working hard for. Don't let frustration get the best of you. Persevere. Ask for help. Keep trying. The payoff will be great. Trabajen duro. Las cosas no siempre les resultarán fáciles y no deberían serlo. Lo que vale la pena aprender, vale la pena trabajar duro. No dejen que la frustración se apodere de ustedes. Pida ayuda, sigan intentándolo y la recompensa será excelente. Be humble. Yes, you are very smart. You are talented. You are athletic. You are many great things. But so are a lot of other people. Be humble about your accomplishments and be quick to compliment others on theirs. You will be respected and appreciated by others for having this great attitude. Sean humildes. Eres inteligente. Eres talentoso. Eres atlético. Eres muchas cosas maravillosas, pero también lo son muchas otras personas. Sea humilde acerca de, de sus logros y sea rápido en felicitar a los demás por los suyos. Serás respetado y apreciado por los demás por esa actitud. Smile. I know that might sound a little bit silly, perhaps, but it's important. Don't you appreciate when somebody smiles at you? By maintaining a positive attitude or faking it even when it's necessary, you will go a long way towards helping you to make new friends and feeling good about yourself. You'll be amazed how much better your world looks when you have a smile on your face. 
sonrían. Quizás parezca una tontería, pero es importante mantener una actitud positiva o fingirla cuando sea necesario contribu contribuirá en gran medida a ayudarle a ser nuevos amigos y a sentirse bien con sí mismo. Be courteous and respectful towards adults, towards peers, towards yourself. Good manners and a respectful attitude will take you far in this world. Sean corteses y respetuosos hacia los adultos, hacia sus compañeros, hacia usted mismo. Los buenos modales y una actitud respetuosa le llevarán lejos en este mundo. Get involved. Find extracurricular activities that you are interested in and get involved. Do not worry if you're the only one in your group of your friends that are interested in joining a particular club or activity. If that activity interests you, go for it. You are likely to meet new friends who share a common interest with you and you'll have some fun along the way. Participe. Encuentre actividades que le interesan y participe. No se preocupe si es el único de su grupo de, de amigos interesado en unirse a un club o una actividad en particular. Si esa actividad realmente le interesa, hágalo. Es probable que conozca nuevos amigos que compartan un interés en común con usted y que se divierten a lo largo del camino. Follow the golden rule, which is do unto others what you have them do unto you. There is no more important rule to live your life by. It is also a very general rule. So here are some more specifics that will help you along your journey. Fifth graders, we care about you so much. You have learned a lot here at Myers, but you have so many more years of learning to do. Be willing to keep learning from your teachers, from your coaches, from your parents, from your friends. Maintain a positive attitude a helpful disposition, and a willingness to try new experiences. Keep reading, be helpful, clean your rooms, brush your teeth, be good to one another, and keep smiling. Because at Myers, you have people that love you. Sigan la regla de oro. Haga con los demás lo que le gustaría que le hicieran a usted. No hay regla más importante para vivir su vida. Estudiantes del quinto grado se van de aquí habiendo aprendido mucho, pero tienen mucho más que aprender en los años venideros. Esté dispuesto a seguir aprendiendo de sus maestros, entrenadores, padres y amigos. Mantenga una actitud positiva, una disposición servicial, la voluntad de tratar nuevas experiencias. Sigan leyendo, sean útiles, limpien sus habitaciones. Capíllense los dientes, cepíllense, perdón, cepíllense los dientes, sean buenos con los demás y sigan sonriendo. Hay muchos acá en la Escuela de Myers que les quieren. Thank you, boys and girls. Thank you to the parents. We're now going to begin by having teachers in the grade levels begin with their awards. They speak so eloquently, uh, and then country come to town. So uh, <laughs> y'all just hang on because you don't know what we're going to get. Uh, subject boards for uh, each homeroom teacher will be read out uh, for each subject. Uh, for my class, we have the reading award goes to Evelyn Polito. <laughs> Writing goes to Bethany Rios. Science goes to Jacob Ramirez. Social Studies would go to Dion Williams. He's absent today. And the uh, fifth grade academic participation for a student that has worked extremely hard this year is Guadalupe Galinda.
bidding goes to Justin Mejia. My writing award goes to Quincy Tran. Math award goes to Axel Rodriguez. Science Award goes to Rebecca Rios. Social Studies Award goes to Jose Salas. And Academic Participation goes to Cruz Benhead.
the sweetest, most kindest person you'll ever meet. Has never said a mean thing whatsoever. Tiffany Perez Cruz.
Uh, it doesn't happen by chance. Uh, I have one uh, all A average for the year that is Evelyn Polito.
Nina Nunez Lewis. Jesus Ramirez Maldonado. Uh, 
Jaden Ortiz.